Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, the sun's out in Chicago today, and it looks like the weather pattern across the Midwest is changing with drier and warmer conditions across, let's say, the southern half of the country. Uh, we've still got some showers that are moving across the Midwest in the next, uh, let's say, four days. Uh, then the rains might stay mostly in the north over the next uh, week to 10 days. For most of the crop, that's a good forecast. Uh, overnight prices were lower. Uh, we've got soybeans down six. We've got corn down two to three and wheat down eight cents. So, you know, when you look at the charts, it, it feels like the market is taking some of this weather premium out that it's been putting in the last 30 days and uh, putting in some kind of technical top. Uh, so we'll have to see how much pullback there is uh, in this market. Still a lot of debate on uh, what the U.S. corn and soybean yield and production is going to be. Uh, there's the good, there's the bad, there's the ugly, uh, and everybody's trying to put a yield on that. Uh, seems like the yield is below what the USDA is saying. Uh, on the other side of the corn, we're losing some demand, especially on the export side and especially in soybeans. China's buying South American beans for the September-October position, and we're losing some export demand that we normally get during that time frame. There was 97 soybean deliveries uh, put out. That's the first time there's been soybean deliveries and wheat's at a two-week low. Part of that is uh, as we get into the northern hemisphere uh, harvest. Our yields here for hard wheat are better than expected. European yields are better than expected. And Russia uh, ex uh, yields are better than expected. You really don't have a strong wheat export demand. Um, option volatility is backing off uh, here. And again, uh, looking at China, their stock market it was lower overnight. Uh, their GDP da data came out in line with expectations, but it's the third month in a row, which is exactly the same number. Uh, so some people are questioning the numbers. We also know that futures markets uh, for ags are lower. China's pork production year on year is down about 4%. And uh, there is some uh, concern about their demand uh, for the soybean down the road as far as import is concerned. Pretty clear overnight across uh, most of the Midwest. Rains are in um, right now, uh, mostly in Nebraska and Kansas, and will move off the Midwest over the next few days. Traditional funds, big sellers in corn yesterday, they're still long about 180,000 contracts. They're still long 83 beans and 28 wheat. Lower uh, futures, some people talking about a top if the weather is good. And uh, we'll just have to see what Mother Nature has in store for us as we go into the month of August. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.